Hello, this is the seventh video I'm making for my mini snowcat build. Today is going to be partially a continuation from my last video where I had machined out the mounting plates for the front drive shafts and hydraulic motors. Today I'm going to uh, finish doing a little bit of cutting on these pieces in the bandsaw, get them ready for installation, and I hope to also begin the layout for the main chassis. So keep watching, and here we go. So now that I have this piece all cut to the final dimension, I'm just going to clean up uh, a lot of the holes. I'm going to use this uh, deep burring tool to clean out these holes, and then I'm going to just take a round file to clean off this uh, extra little pieces of metal that are kind of sharp on the outside here. So that's what I'll do next. So by now you can start to see how the front motor and drive shaft bearing uh, mounting plates are going to be installed in the mini snowcat. Uh, the next part will be eventually to bolt on the bearings and then once the motors arrive get those attached as well. But basically it'll be something like this. There will be a flexible coupling that sits in the middle. Okay. A flexible coupling in the middle and the hydraulic motor will attach to this inner plate and drive the track. The notches on the back of those plates is there to accept the crossbars. Now the crossbar is intended to run from left to right on the vehicle, like that. And on the outside of the track drive shaft, there will be a small plate that just reaches forward and holds a bearing on the far side of the track drive shaft. So that is where we are trying to get. So for now, what I'm going to do is just get these uh, inner plates roughed in, just using the, uh, the coupling here as it is, and start to understand exactly how this is all going to fit together. So this is where I'm going to leave the front plates for now. I have the two outer plates set at 21 inches. That'll be the body width of the mini snowcat. Uh, I don't have the hydraulic motors yet, so I can't lock in the inner plates to where they need to be until I have those in hand, as well as the, uh, the bearings for the drive shafts. That'll determine where those plates need to ultimately uh, sit. But for now, I'm going to move on to uh, getting the rest of the chassis uh, set up.
chassis is tack welded together for now. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. It's supper time. I've got to go start cooking for the boys. And um, yeah, the next step will be getting the motor mount uh, drilled and ready for welding into the chassis and getting the pump mounts uh, oriented in there next. So that'll be later on.